Welcome back to some more Star Drive, where the Battlehosens are now king of space. In the last episode, stuff happened. In this episode, more stuff will happen. <laughs> yes, welcome back to some more Star Drive. Um, the game ran a little bit as I was loading it up, and um, green is fleeing this engagement. We have won the day, but they will be back. So, um, we are going to continue mopping up the rest of green if he doesn't decide to jump out in this system, colonize that planet for our own, and think about what we're going to do about gray here. Um, white white i meant i mean he's he's killed one of our battle hosens we cannot tolerate that more importantly he's expanding into planets and stuff that i want so we're researching deep core mining and fleet supplies very good after we get that, I think we need to get other technologies to bolster our fleets in order to take him on, which is probably stuff we will do. Our taxes are looking great at 16%, and I think the planets are producing whatever the fuck they want. Battle Hosens, that's right, we need more Battle Hosens. Battle Hosens are a thing we need. We will win this war with the Battle Hosens. Yes. I guess I will take this time to look at other stars and refresh my memory as to how crappy everything is around me, except for maybe that one down there. That's a... Colony ship, good. Okay. So that's going to come in here. We need to keep our eye out, too, for, for invasions. So if you guys see any evasions, make sure you yell through time and space itself. Oh my god. Oh, okay. The Darlock Council and the Korathi are now at war. Do I know? I know everybody. Okay, I do know everybody. Good. Look at they can leave me alone. I don't, I'm gonna have enough problems as it is. Now, you guys can go down here. Or you can go up there and then go down there. That's fine too. However you guys want to. You may do it. I'm sure the sure the Wolf Rockets will get there first and do the scouting. And then you guys can come in and we will all take this planet with its 4.6 hammers per population for our own. Oh, green. It's a scout. Okay. I got to kind of want to watch this end here. And I need to pay attention to what's going on up here because uh, something could come here and ninja this one day. And that would be most unfortunate. To say the least. We don't want our stuff to be injured. That would be very bad. So. Yeah. Um, I'd also like to say uh, thank you guys for all the great comments I am getting on these uh, videos and all the support you guys have been showing. It makes me really want to do these and put more out. So. I am ever thankful for all the feedback I have been given and all the tips and things, even when they are given to me when I already know, when I've already f essentially figured them out, I am still thankful that somebody brings them to my attention, just in case I did not know. So, thank you guys. Thank you very much. And, uh, okay, I gotta colonize. What? What? Oh. Oh, they're ant lions. Oh, oh my. <laughs> oh. Well, shit. I guess when this colony goes down, we can send another one. Do I have any people nearby? I might. Doesn't this planet have people? You have a couple people. Yeah, why don't you guys go and please stop zooming out. I would like to launch my people. Right click to launch them is the same button as zoom out. So, that's a thing. Um, yeah. 
I'd also like to, while I'm scatterbraining here, scatterbraining, braining? Yeah. I'd like to say that uh, I have started a thread on the Star Drive forums. It is under the uh, features and suggestions thread. It is addressing the problem, I feel, of stranded ships not having the ability to self-destruct. Um, having that ability, I believe I would have been able to press on a lot more than what I, I did in uh, my other game. Having high maintenance costs um, coming from ships that were essentially stranded, unable to repair them. And even if I could repair them, that's not essentially the point. I, I, you know, the option to, to get rid of your ship like that, I, I feel would, would, uh, would benefit. Anyways, I have started a thread. If anybody would like to contribute to it, um, that would be great. I know a lot of people on there right now. I, I think it has about 12 replies from people. A lot of them are, I don't want to say, um, I, I think they're kind of, They've kind of taken what I put there and kind of and really took it into their own. So there's a lot of people on there that are discussing the that if you could make like suicide ships and stuff like that, in like you know kamikaze fighters and stuff. And so and there's some people that are really digging that idea. While I like that people have taken that idea and brought it into their own, um, I don't I don't want I don't want the I don't want why I put it up there to be forgotten. I essentially put it up there to to avoid devastating situations of your ships being stranded. So, um, if, if it turns into something where this becomes like a huge uh, um, change, okay, my, my troop ships are pissed off now, um, of how warfare is fought with kamikaze ships, I mean, that's not essentially, my, that's not really my intentions, but... I mean, if that's where the player base goes, and that's what, what Zero wants to do and stuff, I mean, by all means, uh, go for it. But anyways, I, I just want to bring it to attention that I have started that thread. I would like any feedback and support um, that uh, that anybody wants to give. I'd like to hear your guys' feedback on that. So uh, that's kind of a thing that can happen. In, or, well, not, not ships being stranded, but scuttling without having to go anywhere is something that's in Sins of a Solar Empire. And in fact, if you play as the Vasari, you can get a technology to ooh, scuttle much faster um, and get more back from the scuttle. So now I don't, I don't know if we need to, it needs to be taken to where you have technology like that. Um, but I'm just pointing that out that that is a thing that exists um, on sins, and I, I, I think at least the ability to to um, get rid of your ship without it having to go anywhere to do so, even if, you know, you get nothing back, of course, is, uh, is, is just at least something to help you avoid those situations of, um, oh no, my ship's blown out and it's stranded and I can't do anything about it, so. Yeah, anyways, that's out there if you guys want to, uh, to go see what's up on it and, uh, offer suggestions and stuff. But, um, we need more battle hosens. Because I'm getting invaded, and I don't want to lose my stuff. I mean, those are kind of developed planets there. And, uh, yeah. I don't really want to lose that. Um. I'm going to keep these troop transports here, though. Wait to get on that planet. Actually, we'll go ahead and do the orbit. I said we will do the orbit. And our ordnance stuff is unlocked. Which means we need to choose more technology here. And like I said, I wanted to get ships to bolster my fleets. But do I want to get ships or do I want to tech it first? If we want to go off of what I learned in the last game, I should really tech these things first before I get it. And I think, um, actually, I could use money and stuff too. <sighs> too many technologies I need. I think I'm going to try... Um, using different stuff besides missiles too. I would like to kind of get into uh, beam weapons here. No, I don't want to go into shipyards. I am clicking all over the wrong place. So that's another thing I want to try. However, I will want to get into frigates. So I will essentially need uh, frigates and cruiser side shields, I think is what most people would uh, would kind of um, say the, the, the second class of shields are now, at least frigate size. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. <laughs> 
And, um... Man, there's just a lot of stuff I want. There's a lot of stuff I want, and I need to take it all. But I don't have enough tech. I need more tech. Must construct more tech. No. Um. Hmm. Well, let's see. We're getting we're getting frigate sized shields, and we can get beams. Like heavy beam laser mounts. Yeah, see, beam weapons have... See, this is like what missiles and stuff need, I think. Where you have kind of like a smaller version of the beam and a bigger one. Kind of, you know, depending on what class you put them on. Well, I guess missiles have that kind of. But, I don't know. I guess they kind of do, but I don't know. Maybe I'm just crazy and I don't know what the fuck I'm doing anymore in this game. That could be a thing. I am definitely not doing this right as I w have anticipated I would be able to. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and venture in yonder down the uh, energy weapons and try some of those out. And I think I will go ahead and increase my fuel cells because I believe I'm going to need a lot of power in order to uh, fire these kind of beam weapons. That's what I've heard, but I don't need ordnance. So I don't need ordnance fabricators. I'd also like to... Ooh, sub-light speeds, that's good. I also would like to get um, the antimatter reactors. That is something I did not get in the last game. I'd like to get and uh, try that out. Because they seem cool. They seem cool and shit, and I want to put them on my ship. So they go... Antimatter, antimatter. So, let's go ahead and let all that kind of go. And um, I'm going to guess that I am going to win this. He still has small ships with no shields. I think the uh, 2,000 shields on the battle hosens are really making a difference. Though most of my forces here are warp rockets. I do have, I think, a few, at least one battle hosen in there, right? Yeah, and he's actually getting his shit kicked. He's actually getting penetrated, too. Not too sure what's going on with that. Your shields are not protecting you. Are they off? No, I don't think so. That is very odd. Hmm. Maybe it's just uh, bugged out because um, sometimes it seems to do that. Imagine that, it bugs out. It's a beta game. Beta bugs, sometimes. And um, I'm going to guess that I just colonize the planet. Okay, I was gonna say, I'm going to guess I colonized it and lost it again. However, that was not the case. The case is that I colonized it and I will probably lose it again. Go ahead and put some stuff down there. Yeah, they just jump on the planet because they're fucking badasses like that. Um, so I'm not too sure how they're gonna do, but hopefully they do. That's all that matters. Make sure they do. Do. Do things. For the glory of the owl people who are mind controlled by the not owl people. Do things. Uh, okay, so I have my deep core mining up. That's a thing. And I need to... I guess put more into science for now. Invasion, yada yada, gotcha. You guys are industrial and doing whatever you want because I do not have the patience to manage any of that. Because I'm terrible. I am just just plain terrible at this game. However, you guys can uh, you can make some colony ships. Why don't you make some cargo ships as well? That'll give you something to do. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna need to make. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need you to make those colony ships and the cargo ships. Yeah. Okay. Th thanks. Okay. Um. Uh, not too sure what you guys are doing. Battle hosens. You may go down there if you would like and assist your battle hosen brethren. No, they're doing pretty good. 
these missiles they still can't really hit anything with. How can you not hit those fighters? Come on. Come on. And his uh, troop transports are going to retreat. Good. Get out of here. Get out of here. That's red. Um, not really worried about red. Not really worried about red at all. In fact, we might actually... Let's go ahead and scout him and see how he's doing. I think I have a live warp rocket, right? Warp rocket? There we go. Um, this is a thing that is going on. Oh, invasion fleet. Okay. I'm sure I can handle that. And we'll send that there. And crap. Go. Warp. Warp. So I can select everyone. There we go. Okay. Waiting for him to go so I can select everyone else. And uh, how are you doing with your stuff? That's quite a bit of guys. But is it enough? I don't think so. I don't think it'll be enough. So I have uh, some pretty good quality ships here. Unless, of course, he's pulling out some uh, some fancy things out of the closet that I'm, I don't know of. But um, we could probably get some battle hosens out here, too. So why don't we do that? Oh, yeah. Okay. You don't have that many people on this planet. You're kind of a... Uh, you're kind of a not that useful planet, but you are out here. I have put time into you, and uh, as such, I would like to see you remain with my um, empire. So, carry on. Do the things you must do. Um, ooh, I also got this going on. You have enough stuff to defend. Ooh! Um, you want an alliance? Yeah, I'll take an alliance with you, Green. I have no need uh, to fight you as of right now. I'm kind of, uh, I'm kind of fighting my own wars and stuff, so less people fight me, the better. And I think he's gonna land people on here. Maybe. Uh, I guess not. Because he's just leaving them up there. Okay, do whatever you want. I guess that's fine. I don't really like uh, having people ninja onto my planet, anyways. So that's a that's a less thing I'll have to deal with. We can reduce taxes here a bit too. Go ahead and do that, and we got a colony. Go ahead and set you to industrial, and let you do your own thing. I think I didn't set this one to industrial. Now that I think about it, oh, that's because it was getting attacked and stuff. But go ahead and do that. So, that's a 5.1. You are a... You're a 7.3. With, I think, a pretty good amount of hammers, right? I can't remember the life of me, actually. Yeah, 4.6. You're pretty good. That's right. And, uh, how are these guys doing? Winning, I think. Looks like we are winning, indeed. Wish more of your missiles would hit when you shot. Be more accurate with your shots. Be more accurate. You have guided missiles. Those are fighter guided missiles. How are you missing so much? Are they that much faster? Can they outmaneuver that much? I don't think those are things that are going on. Probably not. I don't know if I feel like building ships. <sighs> Cat! 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 One second, guys. Cat. Oh shit, I didn't pause the game. My back. <laughs> I don't think... I don't think that much happened. I had to fend off a cat out of my boxes. I don't know what's up with cats and boxes, but... My cat was trying to go in a box, and I didn't want it ruffling in the background. We're gonna have them uh, build a couple ground troops too, just to defend, and because I mean they have the production for it. Not. Why not let them do it? Game. Okay. I think that was an auto save. Seems to just want to auto save whenever it wants to nowadays. So. And I know there's two planets here I could get. I mean, I I can. 
get them. Nah. Can I go straight up there? I can. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? More planets, right? I mean, they're not... They're not useless. They're just not, like, power planets. You know, they're not gonna be key to much. They'll just kind of contribute. Oh, hey. Wow. Whoa. You have a lot of things there. You know that? That's... You have almost... You have 12,673 ordnance on fighters. You have a lot of stuff. I'm... I'm actually worried that, uh... That that gray may be like that. Or are you just broken? Maybe you're broken. And you just do that. And then I got another invasion fleet. Of course, whenever I want to go out and do something and have fun, you guys have to show up and be cock blocks. I said it. Cock blocks. That's okay. I can deal with you. I can, I can. Put you guys there just in case. And what is going on down here? Um. Okay. And troops landed. I didn't get uh, people there in time. It's fine though. And I can uh, build more ground troops, I guess. Or not, because I'm being invaded. I guess I can't. You is that a what? You want? Yeah, sure, that's fine. Oh, okay. Uh. Your dudes are really good at ground combat, I guess, or I'm just bad. Something like that. <laughs> oh, fuck. Well, fuck. Fuck me. Fuck me. Do you have any people on you still? You do. Can I do anything right? I guess I can't. I must pay a visit to the planet in order to bring my people over. You are probably just going to get rocked. So, I don't know what you have for ground troops. One, two, three. Not much. Can you speed by anything? You can get two of them, right? Yes. Maybe you can even get that third. Who knows? That might be a thing. Um, yeah, because you got one. You can send more, right? Of course. You gotta have more. Oh, yeah. So, you got four. But, uh, okay, that invasion fleet's down. Go ahead and, uh, warp them over there. And, uh... Yes, I think I'm gonna make some more ships. Need some more battle hosens here. Something like that. Um, the Korathi, you say. Um, I'm not going to help you f fight them. So, I mean, I could probably, I, I don't care. Sure. I will tell you I'll help you, but I'm not going to. Who are what color are they anyways? They are that color. Whatever that was. What color was that again? <laughs> that's I I guess that's this? Oh yeah, dude, you're already kicking their ass. Surely I will help you, do not worry. I will be all over that shit of helping you. Oh, 
Oh yeah, they're like, fuck, we can't we can't kill the planet. Flee. His ground forces are too mighty. Flee. Free. How are you doing down there? You getting ninja? Nope. You getting ninja? Nope. Okay. Um Any bigger ships? How are you? So I actually just a lot of stuff I need. Lots of stuff I need before I could do more stuff. Is there any plants around here I feel can produce? What about you. You're not ready for production yet. One day you will be. And one day you will kick ass. But that day is not today. It is indeed not today. Uh, that's not a bad planet. I do not want to zoom in. I don't mean to zoom in. That is what you wanted to do, game. Well, you know what? I am at war with uh, what's his face down there. So why don't we go ahead and help him out a bit? Maybe we can get something done and be useful. You know? Just like a little something something. We don't need a lot of something somethings. Just a little something somethings. And over here, why don't you guys produce more troops? And prepare for an invasion. An invasion unlike any other that the galaxy has ever seen. It would be an invasion of extreme magnitudes. It would be like 200 Terminators landing on the planet. Those, not, the, not the normal Arnold Schwarzenegger ones, but the shape-shifting ones that they can like turn into a couch and stuff. So like you're resting your arms and then spikes come up through your arms and kill you. <laughs> Something like that, you <laughs> Okay. I wonder if he's he can like ride the... Uh, the wave thing. I actually wonder if he's gonna get mad if I take planets, but I get. I think that's his home world too. It'll be interesting to invade. Interesting indeed. However, we do need more ground troops, and uh, that's okay. They're just that guy's chasing the scout. Whatever. I don't care. Do whatever you want. You're a big big ship and do whatever you want see? and what is this reaction drives unlocked that is that is a good thing that is uh, this thing over here right somewhere Uh, yeah, that's this. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Got it. I get... I get all of it. You are being invaded while being invaded, it looks like. That's awesome. I don't... I... I actually don't know why the AI is so fixated on just building a shit ton of fighters all day long. Um. Well, I, I guess I well I guess I know why, but I, it seemed. I don't know. It's just like they could better spend resources, maybe in uh, technology and stuff. Yeah, this is on normal. I, I shouldn't nitpick this so much. I'm just being I'm being nitpicky. Stop being nitpicky. Stop being nitpicky. Draw a gas Okay, I'll do that. I'm making way too much money at 11% tax. Never mind. I th I thought I was making sixty. My eyes are playing tricks on me. Sorry. For some reason, I read it as sixty six. So I don't know why. Okay, how's this going? You have a lot of guys. Uh, no, not really. Oops! Don't zoom in. Zooming in is not what I want you to do. You have. Oh shit! You're like ground combat masters, aren't you? Crap. Okay. 
I really need to bomb that planet before I do this. But... <sighs> I just have so many. I don't play by the rules. We're fucking owl people with bazookas. What do we have to fear? Think some samurai bear are gonna do anything to us? No. We got bazookas. They got swords. It doesn't work like that. Swords are are not as good as bazookas. I'm telling you this. I I. While there are some animes out there that may want you to believe that swords are better than bazookas i can guarantee you when you are talking about real life bazookas usually win hey gatos stop playing with the door thing you're gonna hear like he, stupid cats playing with the uh door stopper you're gonna hear this bong, 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 here soon watch maybe i don't know if she'll do it don't do it, cat. Leave me alone. All she does all day is pick on me. Stupid, stupid gatos. I know it's, I know it's gatas, female cat, gata, but I like saying gatos. It's more manly. She needs to behave more like a man cat. Because she basically does. She bites people all day. Okay. Begin the ground invasion. Land. Oh my god. Yeah. Feel the wrath. We got bazookas with swords on. Oh shit. He's even alive. Man. But. We have bazookas. Um. <laughs> Just in case. You know, I mean, bazookas should win against swords. I, I, I know they have ground bonuses and all that kind of stuff okay i i know i know they have ground bonuses but really we got motherfucking bazookas but just in case i'm gonna build a few more of them and uh yeah just in case actually i still have two of them in orbit <laughs> you had so many troops that not all of them could fit I think I'll be okay. I think I'll be okay. Except for this planet. This planet might not be okay. Did you land people? Oh, you... I sh... I should have built a few guys there. But... I have a few guys here I can bring over, so I'll do that. I think in the next one I'll play, I'm going to play as the uh, Korathi and uh, do more ground invasions actually, and um, you know, kind of see how effective they are and stuff. So, I mean, I mean, I, I, I want to see how effective they are when you have bon when you have like all the bonuses and stuff for them, you know. So. I mean, obviously they're they're pretty good if you can get this stuff down. So, so look, we took a capital city down. We took the capital down. And our guys aren't even really that upgraded. So, I mean, that's a pretty big thing. Now they just have to take that uh, fort thingy down over there. I don't know if I can turn off the auto saves. Um, because uh, I, I actually never, I don't think I've ever had this game crash on me. It's been really stable, and I, I'm actually really thankful for that. Because there are a lot, there are a lot of games that come out nowadays that aren't that stable. So I'm, I'm sure once upon a time, this game may not have been that stable. The auto saves are really nice, but it'd be nice to, uh, at, I think at this point, uh, uh, where are you guys going? Shit! Stay out of your way. But uh, I, I think it'd be nice to be able to um, at least change how frequently it auto saves, huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's out of the question. Continue to build guys over there. 
And um, I'm going to queue up a lot of... Uh, a lot more soldiers and stuff. Because we need to get ready to go and, and uh, fight more of... Um, of... Um, ah, of white. White needs to die. So... And I think we're good on this. I think we're gonna win. My guys could hit. I don't know. I looks like they're missing. I don't see how you can miss buildings with bazookas. I mean, even if you miss the building, you'll probably still blow up, blow it up next to it. So I mean, you'll get something, right? You get something. Something. How's White doing? Is he? He's not beating my guys yet. That's a uh, frigate? I think that's a frigate. He's got frigates. Good. Bigger target. <laughs> Bigger target. Um, ooh. You have a lot of guys on my planet. That's not good. I. Hmm. You guys can go up there. Move my mic here. I need to... Launch you guys. That's enough. And... Go. Alright! Took their planet over. We got a lot of buildings and stuff on it. Sweet. And we didn't even kill any of the population on it, too. So we... Very cool. Very, very cool. And, um... We will go ahead and turn this into an industrial planet. For now. And... I think I'm getting attacked by... Something? No? Oh, it's just... Right, okay. It's... Right, I took that system, so it's telling me that there's... Enemies in that system, gotcha. How much time do I have on this? You guys aren't... Oh, okay, it's this outpost down here. I'll go ahead and uh, put you there. You guys can pincer! Pincer attack! Uh. Hmm. Oh! That was a good hit. I think you hit him for two. All right, back up. Let's get these guys down there. That's all we need. Boom. Actually, go ahead and drop that there. And he switched targets off the outpost. That's a good thing. Very good. So, how is this planet doing? Did it get people on it? No, you have quite a bit of people too, so you're good. That's a lot of. No, well, those aren't even troop transports. I guess those are maybe bombers? I don't know. Oh, he's got shields on it though. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay. I'm going to. You guys are pretty good. So I think we're going to head a, make a push on. White. I think so, I think so. Though we do need to get select my planet. And uh do that. One of the other things I heard too is um actually is mil as uh as ground troops don't actually take maintenance which is pretty 
pretty awesome, I think. It, it's it's definitely a really big advantage, especially if you're playing... Um, I, th I think it's Bullrathi that have ground invasion bonuses. Because, I mean, um... Ooh. Fuck, you did get people on there, didn't you? I don't think that's going to do you any good. I got some good shots in on that turn, so... I'm pretty sure you guys are fucked. Like, Green is going so slow here, too. He's like, don't worry, guys. I'll expand one day from Palmar, but not today. Maybe tomorrow, whenever I get there. Whatever. Whatever. Anyways, guys. I think um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this game. So kind of leave on a cliffhanger as we bring our attack force into Ladung and gather up our ground soldiers to start our evasion on White. Hopefully we can wipe him out, get him out of the game. And if we take White, I feel pretty, pretty confident actually that I will, um, you know, kind of, I'll kind of be able to go through the rest of this game. I don't know what Red's doing here. There's three different people who own planets here. Holy crap. Red, you don't even have people? You don't have a single guy. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? I'm just out of range, right? He's just out of sight range. Right? Okay. I was gonna say, if you didn't want the planet, I'd take it. But, clearly, you do. So, do you have any warp rockets? Doesn't look like you have warp rockets. What's the matter? Warp rockets not good enough for you? Uh, uh. <laughs> Alright guys, take it easy. I'm out of here. Bye. Bye.